Hello, uh, good morning or good afternoon. Sorry? I'm not muted. Uh, sorry for the, um, this uh, bad start. Uh, it's uh, always a bit tricky and we are not sure uh, everything works properly, but uh, we would like this to work. So I was saying good morning if you're in Europe and, uh, and good afternoon if you're in Asia, and a good night if you're in California. So I wanted to present this uh, project uh, we have been working on for the last, uh, for the last uh, few months and even few years for part of the project. And uh, it's a kind of a, a complex project that needs to be uh, described carefully. And, and this is what I will try to do today uh, in order to make uh, uh, visible the, uh, at the same time the complexity and the richness of uh, of the project. So uh, we can start with the, the slides. So the the project is titled uh, "We Make Money as Art." The, not the title of the project, sorry, but my talk uh, is titled like that: "Speculative Speculations on Art and Values." Uh, of course, it, uh, it may be a bit intriguing, but you will understand very quickly the relation between money, art, transaction, speculation, uh, and values, and this is what this is about. The very beginning uh, uh, of the story was uh, some reflection I had uh, uh, many years ago on uh, two concepts that seems to go uh, to, to be uh, opposite, but actually go uh, in the same direction, corresponding to the same uh, desire of the humankind, same expectation and ambition. And this is the opposition between reification and what I call sublimation. Of course, sublimation is a term coming from chemistry. And uh, it's, uh, for me, uh, the fact to try to convert all the physical world into something that we can uh, that uh, we can uh, divide, understand into a language. So I started probably in counting ships, uh, counting stones, counting uh, counting uh, discrete elements that became after atoms uh, as we understood them or uh, beats as we have created them. And so we are able now to convert the world into atoms and beads. And thanks to that, we can understand the world through our mental, human, natural computation or artificial computation. The opposite of this idea to put the world in our head uh, is reification. Reification is the fact to start from uh, to start from ideas, from thoughts, and expect them to exist. And uh, a very simple illustration of reification is uh, the fact to, uh, to do 3D printing. You have a 3D model, which is a human-made abstraction, and you want this model to exist as a physical object without doing any uh, personal work, manipulation, or having any specific uh, skill for that. And so these two trends of uh, reification and sublimation seems to be leading the world now. We are converting everything in the world, including human being, into data. And we want this data out of this data to, uh, to produce matter and to create and to reify ideas. And so, and the, and this project started from this idea of, uh, of uh, uh, reification and sublimation. And so I wonder what would be interesting to try to see if directly from the brain, we could get uh, our thoughts becoming maybe first images. And this became the Brain Factory project six years ago uh, when we started to work with it on it with Tobias Klein. 
and uh, I will say more about this, uh, this collaboration. And uh, we uh, worked on the idea of uh, giving the possibility uh, for people to uh, start from the brain waves, uh, thanks to BCI, brain computer interaction, and to go to uh, produce object, which is, uh, of course, what you can do when you create a 3D model, the 3D model can, uh, can become an object. And to understand this, uh, you have to understand that we started with the idea of uh, taking something from the brain that exists only on the brain, and this is human abstractions. So we started with human abstractions, and we wanted these human abstractions uh, to become objects. Of course, it's important to understand that the concept of reification is uh, coming uh, from Marx and Lukács, uh, who uh, explain how the commodifi commodification of, uh, of uh, human values uh, would alter and affect uh, uh, not only economy, but the human life. If uh, you consider that you can convert love into, uh, into a diamond, that means uh, you, get, you enter the market. But are you still talking about love? That's the question. So you see on the right freedom, for example, that becomes shape. And so we created a collection of no design abstractions. And this is uh, the database. We may see it uh, uh, later with some shape coming from that. And of course, to understand this, uh, we should have a look to a short video that uh, explains briefly but clearly the whole concept. And this concept uh, you will see is uh, this concept. No, sorry, I have uh, something on my screen now. Uh, okay, I have to get rid of this. Yes, uh, and this concept uh, led to another project, as you will see on the video, com called Value of Values. And Value of Values is a result also the the, an, an evolution of the concept that has been sought and discussed with Nicola Mendoza. And Nicola Mendoza is uh, uh, a theoretician and an artist uh, that made a thesis about uh, uh, comparing blockchain and tie amulets. And he started his thesis about this sentence from Sal Randolph, uh, which is when, uh, once upon a time, I suggested that art is just another form of money, a beautiful money, that the artists are like tiny nation, each minting their own currency. And the art world is an instrument for calibrating the values of those currencies, and they move against each other. And then uh, we started thinking that this is actually what uh, the project is about. So I have to, I have to move. Ah, I have the feeling that my computer is just. Wow, I love computers. Uh, it seems that my computer is. Uh, okay, so now I would like to uh, show you these short videos the, that talks about the value of values, this project that we started one year ago, and it becomes a real interesting thing on the blockchain. So this is uh, the, the three uh, collaborators. Uh, so Tobias Klein is an artist, uh, architect, uh, and works a lot with, with uh, 3D printing. And Nicolas Mendoza works a lot with blockchain. What's wrong? I'm not sure. OK. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. I have to share again in order to be sure that you see my uh... oh am i in zoom okay share screen sorry i'm uh i think i'm gonna hate uh, zoom So this is a short presentation of the project, but I cannot talk on it over it because there is no voiceover. 
And so you see, we start with an EEG headset, and the visitors of the show put that on the head, and then can assess the evolution of a shape, which is generated by the computer. And then, they, as they are asked to give shape to human attractions, uh, they uh, assess the quality and the evolution of this uh, attraction, like uh, here space, and they try to make it evolve in a way that it would represent space. And so they are going, the visitors of the show are brain workers. And so as brain workers, at the end of the process, you will see, they are actually paid, uh, of course, in, in uh, tokens. And so uh, this, is a, this is a show in, in uh, Mocha Taipei. This was a show in Guangzhou last year uh, for the ICR 2019. And at the end of the process, you, uh, you get a QR code. And with the QR code, you can, you can get the token you have produced. The shape you have produced become a token registered on the blockchain. And so this token, you can collect it and create, start a collection of values, because now we are collecting human values more than abstractions. And you can also start uh, swapping them because you, you got, uh, I don't know, integrity and you would like strengths, money, love. And so you can batter one for each other or you can sell them. When you batter it, and so you give love for money or peace for money, it looks very simple, but at the same time, you say something. And it is converted automatically in transactional poetry. So purity and trust become purity or trust. May make a choice of purity at dawn, respect at dusk, and now pleasure. And so if you have money and love, it may become an ethical statement, like you always need more money to find love. This is transactional poetry generated by the system out of the transactions. And so all the values have relative values compared, compared uh, in terms of uh, US dollars or Ethereum or any uh, kind of cryptocurrency. And the scientist uh, can start doing something interesting, which is a periodic table of the elements. And so the periodic table of the elements of the values uh, put together values close to each other according to how people collect them. So if you collect money, strength, and power, you don't collect love, peace, and, and, and ten tenderness. But of course, it becomes writing. To control this shape uh, becomes a way to write, to express some human values. And the reader try to interpret them, try to understand what you try to say and compare, for example, with other writing like a Chinese calligraphy. And the interpreter with another of the gang, the interpreter is actually trying to figure out how the articulation of the different words you have found uh, makes sense. So to use your brain to write, to use your brain to create a volume, uh, uh, to give shape to objects or to create other form of object, it's part of the reification process. And the reification process is when the values become objects. And here, for example, you have purity that becomes an uh, inflatable sculpture. And so people out of the 3D model can create here uh, the footprint of freedom or democracy uh, with honey, honeycombs. Here is a 3D printer that generates uh, a concrete sculpture that vanish when it rains on them, they become sand again. So the interesting element of the thing is beside of this process that create a relation between values, object, transaction, uh, there is something else happening. We are actually uh, practicing an interdisciplinary project, which is made of neuroscience, sculptures, 3D graphics, music with biofeedback, design, poetry, economics, fintech, and politics. 
and the the projects that has evolved the artwork that has evolved from the status of art objects uh, became recently art subject with a complex behavior with artificial intelligence but we can even say that more than a subject it can become a virtual society and so the the visitor of the show become an artist a creator a collector an art dealer a trader in 10 minutes and uh, the the project itself is he made of a generator a calligrapher a calligrapher uh, a printer a reader an interpreter a scientist an analyst an accountant and a poet this makes build a new kind of art uh, that uh, actually allow people to uh, to um, allow people to consider that the action of the artwork goes beyond the gallery space. You can continue. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to. Uh, I have to share another screen if I want to you to see uh, what I'm showing. And for this, I have to stop sharing and I have to share again and I have to share this. Okay, so here you see the trading platform on the website vov.art. And on this trading platform, you can see your collection. So this is my collection. And the collection define yourself uh, because you keep only the values you want to keep, that the values that make sense for you. And so uh, in a way we could have portraits made of values, but you can also decide to select one value and to trade it, to transfer it to somebody else. Let me show you now what the transactional poetry uh, look like, looks like. And so on the website, you can see you can see the transactional poetry here, and you can have it full screen. And this is the result of transa actual transactions. It's not something we generate at random. This is something that corresponds to actual transaction. And if you go down the page, oh, you can of course see the volume, see the last uh, um, that has been produced. And here you see the relative value of the values. So you see here you have, uh, you have fame, love, openness, uh, purity, family, compassion, and so on. And here, uh, as we had shown in different, we, we had shown in uh, different, uh, can you hear me, uh, in different cities, you can see how the values change from one country to another and compare, for example, uh, Taipei and Guangzhou. And you see that in Taipei, the, the first value is sex, love, and compassion. And in Guangzhou, Korea, it's sex, money, and fame. And you can see exactly for which, which value for each. And, and this will allow to compare the ranking values from one country to another and uh, we'll, uh, we try, try to understand, understand better and better we try to understand better and better uh, what are the uh, what are the important values for each culture and uh, this, this is something, something that, that has never been measured and so the interest of the project is of course to make it real and so anybody can come to the website. Uh, if you cannot access the show, we are preparing, preparing a version that will be uh, uh, that, that will be online. And let me just uh, share the screen for the last side. Last slide. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh. Sorry, it's not where I should find it. Uh, so I stop sharing and I share again.
Yeah, it's uh, here. Um, I'm a bit lost. I have too many pages open. Never do that. If I can give you an advice, never keep so many pages open uh, if you don't need them. Uh, so, uh, I can uh, show you now the, one of the last shows that, uh, that happened. And you go to uh, exhibition here, and you see uh, some of the last shows. So this one was uh, in Maserata, Maserata in Italy uh, for Baos 100. Uh, at the Palazzo Buonacorsi, and that has been uh, organized by Maria Grazia Mattei. This is, uh, this is uh, some views of the show in Guangzhou. And so you see, uh, of course, you may recognize some people. Uh, and you see here many of the tokens that has been created. And here, an interesting moment when last year in June, we created the IVO, which is an initial value offering on the model of the ICO initial currency of opening. And so the interesting thing here is instead of introducing uh, a, a market for a new currency on the blockchain, we decided that this would be only about art. And so the, uh, the value become VOVs and these VOVs can be traded, it's true, but they are not currency, they are what we call NFT. That means each one has a different price. And so this was, uh, this was the IVO. And this is uh, the show in Taipei in, uh, in uh, the MOCA Taipei, the Museum of Contemporary Art. And it was a very, very nice space. And, uh, and you have three people interacting at the same time, transactional poetry here. And this uh, allowed to, uh, uh, to have a, a full set. We created something like 28,000 uh, tokens so far. Uh, the maximum will be 420,000, uh, but it's already a lot. We have been slowed down as we canceled many shows in the last month for the, uh, the reason you may know. And uh, let me see if I can go further because I, I would like to, to say something about the reification thing. So if you, if you contribute, uh, so if you get the token and uh, you can also buy tokens, some are very cheap. Uh, some are expensive, it depends on the number. A token is value like uh, love one, two, three, four, or like love zero, 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 one. Uh, and the number, of course, modify also the, uh, the scarcity of the, of the value. But if you produce an artwork out of the value and uh, you succeed in making sense out of it, then uh, your artwork may be presented in one of the shows uh, because we want to show uh, reification and we are totally open with, uh, I don't know, School of Art and, uh, and uh, any, any institution that would like to have a, a partnership and, uh, and create a workshop to have uh, uh, artists uh, working in, uh, in doing and uh, creating artworks out of what we call a seed of art, uh, uh, which is a VOV. Uh, and then this can be part of one of the shows. So uh, this one you see here, it's a project of creating a big reificator. And the big reificator would print the 3D, 3D models, the values uh, in concrete. And at the end of the process, instead of uh, having, uh, instead of having uh, a beautiful vanity, it rains on the sculpture and the sculpture becomes stand again. And so you have to start again the process. So it's like Sisyphus. Uh, but it's also a way to say, 
that we cannot maybe totally convert uh, we cannot convert totally our soul to, uh, into objects, but in a way, isn't it uh, the role of the artist uh, to uh, give shape to ideas? And uh, this is uh, what uh, this project allows. So if you make sense out of the final model, then suddenly you legitimate the practice. Uh, so we are totally, uh, totally open to uh, uh, many many kind of uh, of uh, collaborations for that, and uh, we have many uh, many exhibition plans, but for most of them, they have been postponed. So I don't know exactly when they will happen. So I I won't tell you uh, I won't tell you where it is. But we need to have exhibition in most in as many countries as possible, uh, as it will allow to define what is the ranking of values for each country, and then what is ranking of values for each people and each city as well. And so this project is a form of survey. It's an uh, experimental project that uh, we can say, we could say it's a kind of global art project, not, uh, uh, not in the classical sense of the term, but because it's touching is uh, affecting so many fields and layers of uh, human activity at the same time. Uh, and uh, it's pretty funny to do as well. So this is why people uh, usually uh, enjoy to do that. And uh, maybe I have a, a last uh, image to, to share. Uh, it's not this one. It could have been this one. <laughs> So you see here, we, we kept the structure from the 3D printer. And this is here, we have uh, one of the related projects, uh, which is actually the brain cloud, uh, where uh, we had a, a big cube made of, uh, made of uh, plenty of LEDs to represent this evolution of the brain in action. So definitely, value of values is a way to speculate and to speculate on the human values uh, at the theoretical level, metaphorical level, and at the financial level as well. I think, uh, I hope I've been clear and thank you for your attention. <laughs>